Here's a true assessment of your son's hitting. Just watch him hit in the game. And take note what the pitcher is trying to do to your son. The pitcher is constantly adding and subtracting velocity and the pitcher is constantly moving the ball from space to space. He's throwing it high, he's throwing it low, he's throwing it inside, he's throwing it outside. The baseball clips I'm showing you actually have two perspectives. One perspective is from the pitcher and how well the pitchers are, are doing in these, these games. The other perspective is of the batter and how the batters aren't doing so well. Something about this batter I want to point out to you, and it has to deal with the geometry of hitting. This batter is standing too close to home plate. Geometry deals with points, lines, and tangents. When you're trying to get the sweet spot of the bat to a certain point that's over home plate in the strike zone, you got to consider the distance you're standing. Otherwise, you're going to make it too difficult for yourself to get that sweet spot into that space. Every hitter has a weak lane they don't see the ball as well. I mean, every hitter sees the ball when it's pitched down the middle, but there's usually a side they don't see it well, whether it be inside or the outside lane. So I want to inspire you to take into consideration the concepts I just explained to you. When the pitcher is constantly adding and subtracting velocity, when he's moving the ball from space to space, the geometry you're hitting, am I staying too close to home plate? As a hitter, what side is it harder for me to see the pitches, on the outside or the inside? Now, if you're listening carefully, you've probably already figured it out that I'm telling you what the pitcher's battle plan is to get your son out in a live game. How does your son prepare for this test, this hitting test he sees in a live game? Is your son being taught how to master his hitting timing in a live game? How about learning how to master his hitting spatial alertness for the live game. On this next batter, I want you to carefully watch his head and I want you to take in consideration this important concept. How does the batter go from watching the pitcher to watching the ball? There's a transition that has to take place. This is the hardest concept I have found as a hitting coach to teach hitters. And it's the most important concept hitting coaches need to teach hitters. And what you're watching is a batter who is getting ambushed by the ball. Sports science has been telling us for over a decade now that good hitters don't see the ball out of the pitcher's hand. So where do they actually pick up the flight path of the ball? It's been my research and study that the most common hitting mistake players make while batting in a live game they don't pick up the flight path of the ball until the halfway point between the pitcher and home plate. Because the eyes don't get the signal or data about the ball early enough, the brain is forced to make a desperate reaction to the ball, a panic reaction. And henceforth, as hitting coaches, we see players collapse their backside, open up the front side, uh, cast their hands out, pull their head out, and it's all due because of their, the lack of timing their eyes and getting the signal about the ball late to the brain. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com, and check out our specialized hitting training for hitting timing and hitting spatial alertness.